Good evening, family. Before the night ends, I have to give us this word. Glory be to God. If you made it home safely, praise God. It is slick outside, so you guys be careful. Be careful. And just want to encourage us, as usual, to encourage us to continue looking forward. Focus on God and what he's doing in this season and in your lives. This word is for somebody, for someone, and it is for me as well. And <clears throat> we don't want to... For ourselves, family, we have to remember that our words are very powerful. There's power in our words because why? Why is because we speak the word of God. We speak the word of God into our lives, whatever situation we may be facing. We speak the word. Everything has already been done. God's promises are yes and amen. So everything has been done according to his will. And so we cannot tie our hands. We cannot tie our hands. Glory be to God. We do it his way. We do it his way. And his way is speaking life. His word. And as we know, his ways are higher than ours. His thoughts are higher than ours. And we have to trust God with everything, family. With everything. With everything. Okay? So our mindset has to be according to the will of God and the word of God. And of course... Thinking higher. Thinking on things that are above only, right? And where our heart is. Where our hearts are. Glory be to God. And we know that God always deals with our prosecutors. And God shows mercy on everyone. He reigns on the just and unjust. And God always blesses us. We, we are blessed with spiritual blessings. Amen. And God always gives revelation to us an insight and we may not hear from him when we want to but the lord speaks he's speaking to you amen and so we declare and decree that vengeance falls the vengeance of god falls on our enemies and we speak the word of god into our lives and we know that we belong to the heavenly father jesus christ and we thank you father for your saving grace we thank you for your power your might your ability that you are taking us through in Jesus' mighty name and your divine protection over our lives and our family lives and that your will shall be done in our lives. And we speak the word into our lives, Father, because we know that you are the word and your words are life. And what we speak, we believe. We plant that seed and we thank you, Father, for your word. Glory be to God in Jesus' name. Amen. So you guys be encouraged. Be encouraged in the Father. Praise be to the Lord. In Psalms chapter 28, verse 6 and 7 says, Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and am helped. My heart leaps for joy and I will give thanks to him in Psalm. Glory be to God. Thanks always. And remember, family, remember Romans chapter 15 Verse 20, chapter 15, verse 13 says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so let's look at uh, Psalms chapter 42. Let's actually go to. Um, let's actually go to Psalms 26. Cold out there, fam. And feel free to seek in your Bibles. Look at the word. Psalms 26. Psalms 26, verse 1 says, Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have also trusted in the Lord. I shall not slip. So, family, we plant our feet firmly on the word of God. 
and we trust in the Lord and we walk in, we walk with integrity, okay? And let's go to 42. Psalms 42. Verse 4 says, When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me, for I used to give with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise, joy and praise, family, with a multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 50. Verse 8, family. Which says, He is near who justifies me, who will contend with me. Let us stand together, who is my adversary. Let him come near me. Right? So we know that we are always protected family and we know that God justifies us in all things and so there's no one that can, can contend with us because the father is for you the father is for me glory be to God and we stand together remember solidarity in Jesus Christ all right and regardless what the enemy tries even if he tries to come near we already won right the Father fights our wars for us. The battle was already won. So we should rest in that. And again, rest in the word. Rest in the word. You know that all things shall come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. So family, be encouraged. I love you all with the love of Christ. You guys have a wonderful night. If you are not saved, John 3, 16, confess with your mouths. Believe in your heart. We repent. Father, we ask you for forgiveness of our sins. In Jesus' mighty name. You guys be safe. Be a blessing unto others and know that you are blessed and God is doing new things in your life. Whether you don't see it, God is still working. Amen. He is working. He is for you. Okay. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Faith. Faith. Rest in the Lord. Right. Rest in the Lord with your hearts, with your mind, with your will, with your spirit, your soul. Rest in the Lord. Glory be to God. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Amen. Have a good night. Love you all. The love of Christ. I will check in with you later. I am Infinite Child. Peace.